actually this is the wrong place this get charts here is for us to get the list of charts here the people that we've chatted to before so sorry my bad wrong place but same idea i need to look for that place here where is that okay there we go so this is the one that where we set an interval to repeat okay so that's the one so here i can leave some space so that i can add more variables and i'll need to put a comma at the very end then i can duplicate that remove the last comma so here i will put scene and then i will paste the scene status whatever the value is at that time so there we go so instead of uh, using true and false you could use zero and one as well that would work just fine so maybe uh, sometimes that is even more helpful when you're sending uh, JSON data but let's just come here and see if it actually works so now remember that all the info uh, all the info that we sent through there is inside find so like the way we are getting this user ID from there okay that is great and we should know whether it's a refresh which it is at this point so if it is a refresh then we are sure that uh, scene will be there because remember that when we are simply reading from the database to get the list of chats here we don't send uh, these properties here the user id and scene so only when it's chats refresh that's when we send that status as well so we are checking for that here so what i will say is data scene there uh where is this So I'm just going to create a variable called scene here and I'm going to set it to false, right? And then here I will do the same thing and I'm going to just set it to whatever the status is. So I'm going to say scene is equal to data of data obj, oh, went too far there, scene, like so. Great. So we first set it to false, then we check whatever the value is that has been brought in and we use that. So at this point, I can simply question whether scene is true or false when I come down here. So let's come down here where I am, um, where I'm changing the received status. So I'm going to need exactly this kind of code so I'm just going to duplicate this one. Oops, what am I doing here? Okay, there we go. So I have two of these, but the first one here should be the one that sets it to scene. So set scene is equal to one, where ID is equal to data ID. So the idea is that all the messages, if for example, I have seen uh, this message right here, it means every other message before this I have actually seen. So I can mark all of those as having been seen, which will be fine. Okay. So here I can say update messages, set scene is equal to one where ID is equal to whatever that ID. Is. So here what we are checking for is this. First of all, if I am the receiver, that's number one, but we have to check for something more and data received should be equal to one. Like so, is equal to one. Great. So we can only convert this to scene if this is received, okay? great all right so now that we have that done let me refresh the page go to mary and let's wait a bit i don't want to click anywhere or type anything here so let me just browse 
oops it already said to see so let me i think i may have clicked on something there so let me go back and set it to a zero reset let's come back here and see if it's going to set it back and there we go it's setting it back so something is clearly clearly not working well here because i haven't clicked on anything to activate that so let's troubleshoot a little bit so actually this troubleshooting will be very short-lived because i just remembered we forgot one parameter here so the first thing is we must be i must be the receiver in order to set something as seen so which is this question right here and also uh, the data received so it means this must be a received message that's number two and then we need one more thing where we should know whether i have seen it or not so seen like so so we don't need to equate this to true we can say something like and seen is equal to true something like that okay however asking if it's true is exactly the same as just asking if if seen like that which is same as asking a true or false question so this should actually work but let's test it again let me go and uh, edit this make sure i put scene at zero go and i don't want to touch anything here yet so let me see if it's going to show me as scene so as you can see scene is at zero So let me refresh this page just to be sure. Let me go to Mary. There we go. And let's do that. So you see, scene is still zero. Well and good. So what I want to do now is to simply click on this thing here. Boom. And let's see if that status changes. Browse. Oops, it hasn't changed. So let me click here again it hasn't changed so let me try typing now let's see if that changes oops so nothing changing there as well okay great so yeah so we'll need to troubleshoot that a little bit so it's easy to tell what's what here so let me come down to index.php here so right here where we are putting the scene status so i just want to alert myself to what the scene status is at this point so i'm just going to say alert scene status or instead of having an alert uh, a good way to do this is to use the console so i'll say console.log that way you don't disturb the operation of your uh, of your program so let me go back here and refresh the page go to mary and then i'm going to go to inspect the element console so there we go so uncaught unexpected character all right so that's what's happening so every time we see this we know that uh, there's an error on the other side so i guess i really don't need to worry about the scene status here so it's still writing false even though we have this error coming every time but let's see if we can still change that while we have this error before we fix it so let me click here and see if the next time it's going to show true and well in good it has shown true but the next time it should show false okay it's not showing false because the information being returned is not reaching this point on the index.php page uh where is this point it's not reaching this point where we're changing the status because we are not getting to this point or that json data is not working all right so it means we have an error so what we'll do is we'll go to handle result right here and go to get result and try to show an alert of that so let me say alert like this alert like that so i can see what kind of data is being returned at this point so let me close that there we go so there's an error there notice undefined property scene 
okay on line 13 so let's go to chats.php on line 13 so i think here where is this there we go all right so scene is not there and that's actually my bad because i forgot that uh, i need to put this word find there that's where all the data is at this point so this should actually work so it should be in find scene just like it's in find user id okay so let's come back here and let me refresh actually let me remove this alert so i don't have this annoying thing yeah instead of alerting here you could also use the console.log just like i did on the other one because the console is much cleaner you don't see anything happening it's not as annoying okay so let me close that and let's come here all right so at this point let me go back to inspect the element i want to see what's happening so it's at false constantly and you can see the number is changing there which means every time it reads uh okay there we go another false so let me click here to see if it will say true and when it reads again it should say false the next time okay so it's not saying false anymore it's still true so which is disturbing because i was supposed to have reset at that point but it also means here we will find that the scene has changed to one which is true but the problem here we have is that it keeps saying true and true and true it should be reset every time we read from the database so scene status should be equal to false every time we read from the database so which means scene status equals to false is not working okay so contacts so this is a wrong place actually i've added it i've added it at contacts which is wrong i was supposed to add it at chats refresh or chat just simply beginning the chat here so that was my bad so there we go wrong place and let's give it another test run so let me go back here and i'm going to edit this one more time and make sure that scene is at zero go and there we go browse still zero so we see the message has been received but not seen yet great so now let me click here and we're, we're supposed to start seeing the console.log there we go false very good and if i click now the next time it should be a true wait for it oops probably clicked on the wrong place true there we go now the next time it should be false aha there we go so one true one false so it means true there i've seen the messages and i don't need to do that again until because we are setting it back to false because there will be new messages received and we may not have seen those yet so click there let's see it go to true and then back to false so true there and then a short time later wait for it false okay so that is working out fine so now let me remove the console.log uh where is this i can easily just search for it actually let me do that console.log there we go so i remove that and everything is working fine so the only thing remaining now is to actually show the ticks here and we're going to do that in the next video.